Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to 66 Conversations with MAPS Coaches. I'm here today with MAPS Coach Tim Beverlin. Tim, thanks for being with us. Why don't you introduce yourself to the audience, tell us a little bit about who you are. Thank you, Marty. Uh, I have the privilege to be a coach and head coach with MAPS. Um, my ideal client that I get to work with on a daily basis is an individual that wants to grow their business, whether they're leaders uh, or agents or worldwide leaders kind of across the globe. Who wants to grow things? That's who I get to work with. That's awesome. Fantastic. And I imagine occasionally this next um, conversation that we're having, especially with a lot of new agents who will most likely watch this video, comes up regularly. As a new agent, you're on a listing appointment, maybe even a buyer consultation, and someone says, hey, this is your first deal, or I can tell you don't have the experience, you're brand new, why should we hire you? What sort of coaching or conversation dialogues are you having around that sort of a um, response? Yeah, well, I think we can start with the numbers from the National Association of Realtors. Uh, they released it in 2021, the 82% of sellers only interviewed one agent. So the really interesting part about before even dissecting what that conversation could sound like is it's probably not going to come up all that often. That's fair. I found as an agent that I was prepared for that conversation. And when I was really prepared, I didn't get it. So to kind of, to start it with the confidence of you may never get that objection ever. It might only live between your two ears. So have the confidence in that 82% of the time, they're only interviewing you anyway. I love it. And it, and it really is that uh, the fear of the unknown, right? That we're kind of scared about what might they say and the analysis by paralysis, you know, a new agent could have 16 different conversations ready to be had. Well, what if they ask me about commission? Well, what do they ask me about marketing? Well, what if they ask me about my experience? Well, what if they ask me about what I know about this neighborhood? And when in reality, none of that comes up during the call, you got in the door, just don't drop kick it from here, right? And most agents are doing the best job possible to prepare for that. So. I love it. 82% of the time, it's most likely not going to come up because you're the only one that has actually come through that door. Tim, any closing remarks or thoughts around, I'm a brand new agent. What sort of experience should I have? Or what if they ask me about it? So what if it does come up? I think that's what you're going to do. What if in the 18% of the time they are interviewing more than one agent and they say, so Marty, you're brand new. Why should I choose to list with you? Sure. Uh, one option could be talking about the excitement you have of a brand new, as a brand new agent. So I'm brand new to the business. I have fewer listings than any other agent you're likely to talk to, which means you get my undivided attention. I'm going to be holding your hand from the very start of this transaction all the way to the closing table or escrow or whatever you call it in your state of Providence. And you're going to get just me as part of that team. One point of contact. Can you see the advantage of having a single point of contact throughout the entire process from today all the way to the time that you get paid? I love it. Right. I know when I fell in love with my wife, it was on a first date and she was the only one there. And the reason I fell in love with her is I got her complete attention and she got my complete attention. So do you want to work with a realtor that will give you their complete and focused attention? Or is it a first date where there's 16 other people that are also competing for your attention? That would be awkward and probably not when you fall in love with. So I love that you get all of me. Don't you want all of your realtor and, and all of their focus, attention and hard work? So Great job, Tim. I appreciate both of those perspectives and I appreciate you being here. Guys, come back tomorrow. We're going to have a new MAPS coach and a new conversation on 66 Conversations. Until then, we'll look forward to seeing you real soon.